Hey YouTube, so I just wanted to come with you, or come share with you the scrapbook haul that I got. Um, we're still on vacation in Hawaii, it's our last day here. But they have um, an Ace Hardware that's a slash craft store. And I got the best smoking deal ever was this Hero Arts Cleans. It's called Pinstripe Background for $3.50. So what I think I want to use it for is to stamp with a light color on my journaling cards, make my own journaling cards, that way I can journal on my project life. So that was a super hot deal. The other things I got were these cute little stamps. They didn't have it at my Joann's where I live in California, but they had them here. And so this one here with the speech bubble, I have an idea to cut out the XOXO and the heart and just have these blank speech bubbles so that I could add little text or type or whatever I want for my project life pages. And then this one here is super cute with the arrow and the heart. Then the other great deal I found was the Studio G. I haven't seen anybody show this, but they had it here. And it has the days of the week. Sorry about the glare. It has the Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And they are the perfect size. See my finger? For the little Project Life journaling cards. So that was really cute. They only had one left. I would have got one for my sister, but they just had one left. And then the other thing I got was this gray flannel. I have the London Fog. And London Fog is kind of a blue gray. This is more of a charcoal gray. And I stamped it out so that you guys can see. I hope it comes up on camera. So this is the London Fog. And that's the charcoal gray. And I think the charcoal gray will be good for outlining, like inking the pages and stuff. Because it's a little bit darker. And um, it's not like a true black, but it's like a, like a charcoal gray. So... Anyways, I'm hoping to get this is my last day scrapbooking. I'm filming outside because it's dark inside. Their house is kind of dark, so. But I know I keep saying I'm going to be done with my Project Life for 2012. And I've kind of decided that my binders for Project Life are going to just be continuous. I'm not going to start with 2013 and have a binder just for 2013. Because I still have room left in my 2012 binder. So I'm just going to title my binders binder number one on the front with the dates from here to there. Then the next binder, when I finish this binder, will be number two. And I'm going to decorate cute number two and then have the dates because Project Life is just going to be like a... It's kind of like my diary or kind of my my scrapbook of our lives. So it's not going to have a certain year. It's just going to be in order but not stop and start because I don't have a ton of binders. I want to pack out my binder. I use the Pioneer album the, with the super large D-rings, so... That's my plan. So hopefully I'm, I'm going to finish up. I got this one sleeve. I'm hoping to finish this today. I didn't get to scrap a lot because the weather's been awesome. I'm going to be able to go to the beach. In fact, we fly out tomorrow at 3, so I'm going to maybe not go to the beach today and scrapbook, and then maybe tomorrow morning go to the beach early. So anyways, all right. Thanks for watching. Bye.